Hi everyone! Today we are presenting our work Multi LiDAR Localization and Mapping Pipeline for Urban Autonomous Driving. This research was recently presented at IEEE Sensors 2023 and is a joint research work of the Technical University of Munich. When we look at autonomous driving, we have multiple problems to solve from perception to planning to control. In this research, we are focusing mainly on the perception part, especially on the localization. At TOM, we have access to a novel research vehicle for autonomous driving called EDGAR. This vehicle is, has a setup of a novel, novel sensor suit and its baseline software is provided by AutoWare. Unfortunately, we are missing here a full mapping and localization pipeline. And therefore, the goal of our work was to have a scalable pipeline for localization and mapping and the creation of a ROS2 software package for real-world implementation. When we look at the related work of simultaneous localization and mapping, we see that many people have developed LiDAR SLAM approaches that showed convincing results with different approaches throughout the last years. What we saw that many people are usually use single 360 degree LiDAR and do the application on standard data sets. Number two, we are seeing the creation of vector maps, which is basically deep learning based, but have then a bad generalization to other domains and missing robustness. And then number three, in autonomous driving, we have the possibility to access HD mapping. Unfortunately, we are missing here the full pipeline, we are missing the autonomous and automatically creation, and we are missing the scalability. Last but not least, HD maps are very expensive. And therefore, our goal is to have ultimately a multi-layer HD map that it is using shared coordinate system, has different layers for different uses, is multimodal and arbitrarily expandable, and therefore consists of semantic map, point cloud map, and feature map. This is what we need in our autonomous vehicle to drive efficiently and safe on the roads. In our approach, we are using our research vehicle EDGAR. EDGAR consists of a novel sensor suit and in our research here, we are focusing mainly on the LiDAR systems. We are using two different LiDAR, one mid-range LiDAR, two mid-range LiDARs from Auster with a 360 degree field of view and in orange here, a long, two long range rider from Innovation solid state lidars with a 120 degree field of view. We are therefore having the multimodal sensor suit set up from different lidars. We present now a novel sensor fusion based pipeline for offline mapping and online localization based only on lidar sensors and leveraging four lidars in total. After pre-processing the raw data, a, three point, a 3D point cloud map and a semantic map are built and referenced to the GNS trajectory offline. The point cloud map is used online to localize the vehicle by scan registration and an extended Kalman filter fuses all information and outputs high, high frequency ego states. The pipeline is then integrated in our custom ROS2 environment based on the AutoWare software stack and is therefore made available for everybody open source. We are focusing now, especially on the offline mapping. The first part in our approach consists of the point cloud registration. To select the mapping method, the previously mentioned SLAM algorithms were ever evaluated. Due to the atypical LiDAR sensor, LiDAR setup and the above mentioned associated challenges, state-of-the-art LiDAR SLAM algorithms fail to create consistent maps. We are using here the KISS ICP, but the KISS ICP with separated scan registration for us showed robust behavior with respect to the map creation. The map is then post-processed with the interactive SLAM and this framework allows us performing loop closure and graph optimization based on individual poses along the trajectory. Then, number two, we need the semantic map creations. Semantic maps are needed for path and behavior planning. The aim of the semantic map timeline is to run as automated as possible. However, 
A manual semantic mapping pipeline is still needed to correct wrong marked parts and generate ground truth data. For manual semantic mapping, the vector map builder 2 is used. Point cloud maps are annotated manually by marking lane boundaries and an automated semantic mapping pipeline is being developed for better scalability. Then, last but not least, the georeferencing. Since no GNS is used during the mapping process, the map must be georeferenced to allow GNS using during localization. After a UTM projection to local Cartesian coordinates, the trajectories are roughly aligned using the UMYAMA algorithm. A predefined number of corresponding on-control points from each trajectory is manually selected. Based on these points, a piecewise linear rubber sheet transformation is used to match the trajectories. The presented pipeline now enables us the creation of accurate and detailed HD maps for autonomous driving. The map created offline by the KISS ICP shows a high consistency between the registered point cloud frames. However, a significant amount of drift accumulates over the entire length of the trajectory and post-processing in the end active slam can significantly minimize the absolute position error. We are seeing here limitations, especially in the online localization in real time, and we were only able to show it in a certain environment. In summary, this work, we presented a pipeline for multi-LIDAR mapping and localization for autonomous vehicles. Especially here, we are using our Edgar research vehicle that leverages multiple LiDAR sensors. Our approach to sensor fusion and separated LiDAR registration has proven robust compared to the state-of-the-art SLAM algorithms. Post-processing, the point cloud map allows further improvement of our results and associating them with a global reference. We showed how different data sources can be merged to add a semantic layer to the map. Using this multimodal localization within a static map, reliable localization in urban road traffic, even in GNS-denied environments, is possible. In our outlook, we want to improve, first of all, the online camera liberation by using PDP time synchronization, do further evaluation and enhancements, especially in more scenarios. And we are bringing Edgar to Oktoberfest in 2024, where we have a rough, difficult and dynamic environments. Thank you very much for your intention. If you're interested in reading the paper or having access to our open source code, feel free to use the link to the paper and link to the GitHub code or check out what else we are doing in our lab. Thank you very much. Have fun researching.